Namaste and welcome. My name is Neeraj. Welcome to my channel and I am grateful that you are here today. Today we will be talking about predictions from our this year ahead from 21st April 2023 up till 30th of October 2023. Uh, and uh, this is about the world view and in general what do we see from here. And I am calling it this video as um, confused world and instant karma ahead. So this is a time for uh, the world to be confused and instant karma ahead. I will be sharing my screen and explaining you more further from here. So let's get started. <coughs> I hope uh, you guys can see my screen now. So uh, there are actually, uh, if you see position 1 here, uh, the number 1 that I am saying, uh, sharing on my screen on the left hand top side. Um, there are 4 planet conjunctions uh, happening in the Aries sign which is the the sign for new beginnings uh, governed by Mars again. See that as a five, four or five planet conjunction. Actually, Uranus is also there, which is kind of going to add a lot of aggression into all of this. So we see Rahu, Jupiter, Sun, and Mercury, which is in retrograde motion. This is significant up till uh, from now up till the uh, 30th of October this year, 2023. So <clears throat> we are seeing that uh, the there is one guy which is going to dominate all of them and. Uh, which is what is going to lead to all this confusion. So you, you are going to see a lot of um, the leaders of this world, specifically the people, the presidents and the prime minister of this world who are in power or position will be actually in, uh, in a very confused state of mind. They will not be able to understand uh, the sense of righteousness, what is the right thing to do versus uh, not so right thing to do in general. This represents, um, this is a time period for a lot of new beginnings. Uh, new and bold decisions, but those decisions will not be the greatest because they will basically be out of confusion. Um, uh, the challenges to morality, <coughs> the the challenges to the right decision making, if you will, will be big bold decisions made across the globe in different geographies with respect to financial stability, an economic crisis going on. Um, but the decisions may or may not work in the long run. I foresee that the uh, the governments of the world, which is like the decision makers in the politics situation a scenario, which is the presidents or the prime ministers or the people who are on authority or government positions, will be taking a lot of bold decisions, but that will be challenged in terms of morality. That may not may or may not be the rightiest thing to do, and uh, the minds are not going to support them. So. Uh, don't expect them to use a lot of brain this time. Uh, I see there is a lot of haziness there. So the brain is sort of hijacked by some other forces which are not going to get them right decision making. Uh, but this time period is good for new beginnings in terms of uh, initiating new things, to new bold actions. Uh, the world leaders will take a lot of bold actions and there will be a lot of courage in what they do. Uh, and you can see a sort of aggressive communication coming out <coughs> from across the leaders as well across the globe and they are they are also happy about it by the way so uh, when they are going to talk uh, bold things let's say Taiwan and uh, China problems going on uh, the, this, the chances of uh, sort of a attack or a, a war from there is is high again in this time frame and again they are they are going to be <clears throat> vocal about it and it means them so whatever they are going to talk will be actually in their mind which is a good thing to see um, things such as uh, consulting businesses which is mostly around IT uh, consulting or anything which is orally done like um, not really involving any kind of uh, machinery or equipment as such Though IT have servers and storage and all those devices, but things which are consulting based will be in challenge. So expect marketing services, um, IT industry or IT products in general to be challenged a lot, including the layoffs. We can continue seeing more of layoffs. Uh, but again, things which are research driven, R&D driven, uh, pure R&D or let's say AI in general in IT, and those things are a little on the safer side. So anything which is research space within IT will be a little safer as compared to traditional IT services or IT jobs. So you can expect more of layoffs happening in that area. This is more profound during the um, March, sorry, the uh, June, mid-June, 17 June kind of thing uh, to, um, 
12 June time frame but there are the severe effects for for these whole transits are transits are specifically between 10 May to 12 June 2023 that is where it's going to be the worst case situation for everybody across the globe so please be cautious there in everything you do with your finances or with your jobs the way you deal with government and uh, the way you look at research activities in general <clears throat> um, the instant karma part that I stopped, stopped about in the beginning of this video is again uh, more around Saturn's presence. Saturn is very, <clears throat> you know, strong now, right now. So, whatever a government does across the globe or the decision maker do, uh, will have instant karma. So, let's say if they take right decisions, they will be awarded a lot. So, expect sudden changes here and there in terms of financial stability of a country. Sudden change in their um, the sudden change in the economic situation of a country certain challenges to financial policies or budgets uh, the governments as well uh, the technology side of things the, whatever they do in IT consulting and challenges to <clears throat> uh, even the research activities but more in a positive way so uh, across this time period let's say April 21st to October 20, October 30, 2023, whatever <clears throat> we do, even as a human being, even at an individual level, it is going to be applicable. Whatever we do, will be, <clears throat> we have to pay for it in terms of karmic debt or credit. So we do good deeds, we get positive things during this time period, and we do bad deeds or not so good deeds, we will also be paying for it. And it will be like an instant karma. So the beauty of this situation is that, uh, and Nobody will be spared, in other words, uh, which is how the Saturn behaves. So we are grateful to him. And there are, there are good news and things which are not so great. So let me talk a little bit about it. Um, <clears throat> for the vehicles and the stocks related to cars, vehicles, uh, machinery, and more so, do with, more so to do with um, luxury segment, cosmetics, um, Food to some extent, clothing to some extent may not be the the greatest extent, but to some extent it's somewhat good. Good and expect a, a major rise in the EV market. So uh, position one and position two here is going to be helpful, like a bone to uh, electric vehicles during the next course of six, seven, eight months, specifically around uh, luxury vehicles cosmetics like I said especially cars segment as a segment we will be growing a lot people in this uh, industry will also be seeing growth opportunities in terms of luxuries comfort conveniences uh, or money coming in or uh, uh, income for these industries are going to increase in terms of communication and activities there are a lot of uh, <clears throat> there will be a lot of sort of violence reported online in terms of social media um, activities will be aggressive uh, the government communication and everything that you see there can be um, challenges even in the way government talk to people um, people who are in the law profession or anything documentation will be again benefited it seems a good time for them so I'm guessing the let's say loss of employment will lead to a lot of lawsuits uh, suits in general and also the severance package and all that probably will be giving them a lot of benefits so it's a good time to be in law um, for the partnerships this is really a, a negative time for any kind of partnerships so globally there cannot be there will not be consensus in the global leaders so expect <clears throat> China to continue to bit Cold War with USA Taiwan India and everything else that you see as unrest there can be good partnerships in terms of uh, assets. So wherever there is a vehicle involved, a natural resource involved like oil, gas, manufacturing, pharma, those guys are somewhat doing okay because in terms of uh, partnership, they will still be talking to each other. Uh, and that will actually help them in a lot of income and profit from that. So that's a good deal there. But in general, general the human partnerships, the partnerships between governments, um, are challenged this is not a great time for that they will be actually in a confused state of mind um, because of the sun's position there will be a lot of aggression in the way they talk 
more so to do with the financial aspects so and and there could be hunger and need for natural resources and in this uh, point of time majorly affecting so uh, which is going to be the case so um it also means that you can expect a uh, sort of secrecy in what government is going to do uh, they will be cold about it a uh, secrecy even the layoffs that's going to happen in it uh, technology industry globally will be secretly done there will be a lot of uh, a lot of reality won't come out in public uh, we just saw what happened with fox news yesterday and also with cnn there were layoffs there with two major um, very famous employees there uh so that could be like i said there was a the lawsuit in the us that was settled outside the court which was good but again those are the things that you will see more often uh, things will be done in silence in closed door rooms people will not know the reality even the government dealings will be like very silent and under the carpet sort of thing uh, the finances uh, people will try to hide the money they have including the governments the real assets um um and anything real knowledge or r&d will be challenged so they will try to hide anything which is real financial stability for a country um there could be rise in fakeness uh, which is basically we expect a lot of tiktok things going on um anything which is not going to be really value but it is mostly about smoky things things like tiktok uh, social media uh, cinema dance and art which is mostly um shadow kind of things which are not really anything tangible to touch and feel but they they can be see uh, any any kind of research activity in that area will also see a rise but it will go by positive and negative so let's say if the message is to really help the society in a positive way let's say like a documentary that can see good live light uh, but if the message is to divide the society further which is what is happening unfortunately to, unfortunately today across the globe that could be challenged as well um the wokeness and the woke movement also i see a sort of dramatic rise in that but again they will have to pay for their karma so i also see that uh, uh they will they will have to again the saturn will ensure the instant karma there so um if they do really good to the society it will be positively received if they try to do the other way around uh, saturn will take care of it so which is again a good news in other words um in terms of uh, yeah, so i spoke about i i hope i covered the uh, why i'm calling it as a state of uh, confusion and why i'm calling it as a state of um, uh, instant karma again so, again about the de dollarization or the change in world order i think around august we can expect something major there which is happening with big countries when they are meeting there and uh, de dollarization is already happening as we see which is which is good for the rest of the world but may not be the good news for the west um and the world will remain confused up till 30 october uh, there could be like, like i said financial instability um challenges to the teaching profession anybody who is into teaching uh, academics could be challenged uh, the severe or the, the time to watch out for is again 10 may to 12th of june um and you have to watch your karma so please focus on your karma i will not advise what to do not to do but uh, i know everybody is smart so um, this is a tough time whoever does the karma will get punished so again this is a i'm calling it as a state of confusion for the world but also a time to pay back by instant karma i hope you like this video thank you for watching namaste